You know, another impression I got out of this fight was the crowd reaction in Vegas. And we've talked about the boxing crowds versus the UFC crowds. But I do think in Vegas, the UFC crowds are starting to creep a little closer to the boxing crowds where they're impatient. They want rock'em, sock'em. They're not really the hardcore or even avid fans, and they kind of don't get it, but that's what comes with the territory as tickets get in higher demand and you raise the prices. Well, the tickets are higher priced in Vegas almost always, so I think that's number one. You know, you're not getting the the grassroots fan that's coming in to buy those tickets. You know, I'm in New York this week, and at Yankee Stadium, they have tickets for fifty dollars for the Cotto Four. But certainly, the rest of the card was a good card, a good solid card. You know, not the greatest card I ever saw by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a fun card, a lot of good fights. Um, and, and I think if you forget the main event, you know, you walk away with that. And if you would have had those cheap tickets, I think you would have had the more grassroots average MMA fan in there as opposed to somebody who was out because, you know, they, they're a casino customer. There's, a, there's really nothing you can do to control the type of crowd that's in there. I know Dana White was very vocal about uh, how impatient they were and they're basically booing everything. But, yeah. again, it comes with the territory. If you're going to do gates of three and a half, four, five uh, million dollars, you're going to have a different type of fan in there. Absolutely. And that, you know, when you're paying that kind of uh, ticket price, uh, you know, generally you're not just a walk up, run of the mill guy. There's not a lot of walk up people paying, putting $350 down per ticket. You know, you imagine if you want to take your kid to the event and uh, you go to Mandalay Bay and the tickets are $350 to see uh, uh, Brock Lesnar and Shane Carwood fight, you know, there's not going to be too many, you know, dealers and. and just average working people, you know, people who drive a truck for a living, you know, walking in factory workers, they're not going to be paying those kind of prices. They're going to be buying the fight on pay-per-view. So the people who are going to be in the Mandalay Bay or the MGM at the, at the pay-per-view fights here are going to be a more well-heeled crowd, but maybe a crowd that's not as in tune with MMA. Do you have any issue at all with Dana calling out the crowd? No, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, you know, personally, uh, I didn't think he was calling the crowd out. I mean, he was just asked about uh, booing the main event, and it was in response to a question. But, you know, even if he did, I mean, that's, you know, that's his, uh, you know, opinion, and I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I, I thought it was a little ridiculous myself in some cases. Um, you know, there were some cases where it was justified, but I, I, I you know, in others, I mean, I thought it was pretty ridiculous at uh, how they were booing. And they didn't want to give the guys a break, that was for sure. They booed if, uh, if the guys, you know, kind of just were... Fighting hard, took a second to catch their breath, 